60 second economics on oligopoly. And this is a market structure dominated by a small number of large firms. The key defining characteristic is interdependence. The actions of one business directly affects the others, forcing them to constantly react to each other's moves. Now, one of the strangest features of oligopoly is that prices often stay the same for long periods, even when there are fluctuations in cost. This is known as price rigidity or price stickiness, and you can model it using the kinked demand curve. Since price wars are often destructive, leading to lower combined profits, many oligopolies just demonstrate high levels of non-price competition. For branding and advertising, think Coca-Cola versus Pepsi. For product differentiation, consider the smartphone makers. And for service and loyalty, use airlines competing through frequent flyer miles, lounge access and route exclusivity. They don't just compete, of course, on ticket prices. A non-collusive oligopoly happens when firms fight fiercely for market share. A good example would be the retail grocery sector in the UK. Whereas a collusive oligopoly is when businesses realise that competition hurts their profits, so they may secretly and illegally agree to fix price or limit output, effectively turning the oligopoly into a shared monopoly or a cartel.